Good morning everyone and happy Thursdays and welcome to a brand new vlog. It's another lovely day on the marina. Another lovely day on the marina I say. Gonna be a hot one and we've got a busy day. So should we get the titles out of the way? Yep, we've got to go up the allotment this morning because we're going to do some watering. So it's Lee's day off on a Thursday, so we're going to do a few bits together today. So yes, yeah, so go up the allotment, sort that out. Then we're going to go to Marks and Spencers to get a few little bits because we're going to then go into Luton to see me mum. And while we're down there, we're going to go into Asda because they've got a massive Asda there and uh, do some shopping and get some beer there because I was going to go to Booker's because that's my normal thing on a Thursday. We thought, well, let's just see what's in Asda and... Uh, get a few bits in there and that'll save Lee going shopping tomorrow anyway. So there you go, that's what we're up to. So yeah, busy day, gonna be a hot one. See you in a bit, bye. Right then Lee, first stop. Allotment. <laughs> well, it's so hot already, isn't it? Yes. 29 degrees. Teeny McNamara. Global boiling, I say. <laughs> <laughs> or late summer, as most is called. Indian summer. Oh, yeah, that's it, late summer. Mm. Or a, a British summer. Even. Yeah, inclement. Yeah. One day it's lovely, one day it's shit. Anyway, see you soon, bye. Just checking on things. Um, I didn't come up yesterday. So um, we're kind of trying to come up at least every other day, even if it's just like for today, where we're just going to water everything and just make sure everything's okay. Because uh, cooker melons did give me a little. It's ever been hot before, Lee? <laughs> yes. And I'm always hot, you know that. Ah, we're at Marks and Spencer's, everyone, or almost. <laughs> Just flapping around. Mm, that looks nice, doesn't it? Old flower gin. I do like Marks of Sparks. <laughs> Got some lovely stuff in there, I tell you. Got some more Naga sauce. That's so nice from Marks and Spencers. It's worth coming up here just for the Naga sauce, to be honest with you, because I've not seen it anywhere else. And uh, you know, you get like the chorizo sausages thing. Well, there's one that's just pure chili, pretty much, meat and chili. Um, so we're going to try that one, that's probably going to blow me old mm -hmm, off. So yeah, so we're now going to go back to the boat, collect Hector, I might have a poo. And um, we'll head down to Luton and have lunch with me mum. Bye. the motorway. Thank God I don't have to commute. Lee just abused me. Because yeah, you farted it at me. We're going to Asda now. <laughs> we like living on the edge. Yeah, we do. We have such an exciting life. Bye. <laughs> right then. Uh, oh, me. I'm probably going to get lambasted for this. I'm not supposed to. I won't get lambasted because all you lot are decent people. <laughs> but sometimes you're not allowed to say things as you see them because you'll get the racist car thrown at you. Okay, so I can't tell you what I've just seen with my own eyes. Oh, 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 Paul, you'll get yourself a ban and you'll get yourself a lot of shit if you uh, publish what you just said. And it's just one particular word that you said that will get you in trouble with YouTube. And it's because you mentioned the word white. So I'm going to take the word white out of what I just said and I'm going to replace that with English. 
okay? What I see is English because English can be different colours, can't it? But, you know, so, I, and I don't want this bullshit racist card thrown at me because it's bollocks. I want to tell you what I saw in my own eyes and that I was shocked by it. Going past my children's old school, there were more foreign people than there were English people. And I'm not talking about just by a little bit. I'm talking by at least 90%. Now, some of you had so so what? Well, okay, so what? What I'm saying is I saw that and I was shocked. Am I allowed to be shocked without that card being pulled at me? Because I don't think it's right. Because, uh, uh, you know, I'll be honest with you. I don't think it's right. I'm watching us become a third world shit hole. And I've said it in the last vlog. And I just am seeing that happening before my very eyes. And we're not allowed to say it because I said that one wrong word. Because I compared, because I said white people. So you're kind of going to get what I actually have did say. Because obviously we'll go back to past wood gnome now. And anyway, so... I think you understand what I mean. And yes, I found it shocking. Some of you won't. I'm allowed to say I found it shocking. That's my right. Right? If people call me racist for just saying what I've just seen with my eyes, well, then they're wankers. If you're trying to say I've got an ulterior motive about it, then I don't care whether you think I've got an I'm just telling you what I've just seen. And I, I, just, I just find it dumbfounding. Anyway, bye. There we are then, we're at Asda now. What's Lee doing? Yes. You excited? <laughs> Not really. Haven't been to Asda for ages. I just thought. What did you thought? I just thought. What? I didn't even get me mum on video. <laughs> There's Michael. There's me mum. Oh, Paul. Oh, people, take no notice of him. He's oh. a gobshite. He is a gobshite. <laughs> Dear me, this hot, sweaty day. Paul, <laughs> Massive. come on. Never mind. Oh, look. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Well, we're back at the marina. It's been a fabulous day. Um, I didn't like the traffic and all that sort of stuff. We'll talk about that in a bit. When we go to me mum's, we always come back with something. So this, this is really quite funny. Look at this. Can you see the flower pot man? Isn't he cool, eh? That's so cool. Yes, yeah, so we got that. And let's go around here again. And look at these, these are really quite nice. Look at these. There's lovely candles. And with rope and stuff. Really nice. See, my mum does car boot sales, so she gets she sees these bargains and uh, can't help herself. Thinking of us obviously. But um perhaps one of the biggest revelations of the day, actually, perhaps the biggest revelation of the day, or this, oh, is it revelation or sensational wonderfulness, good discovery, is, um, of course, we went to Asda um, in Luton. And have a guess what? Have a guess what? Come on. Let me get it. They do adult cans of Hobgoblin now instead of the um, Happy Meal size. So they actually do pint cans. So I'm quite happy with that. That's very good. Now, another thing. Um, there's, I say a lot about yin and yang, don't I? Now, obviously, the last vlog or two, I've been on a and I've been on a bit of a downer and getting irritated myself and all that sort of stuff, and bemoaning the fact about certain things that happen when you move to the boat that you lose from when you lived in suburbia, like friends and stuff like that. But then, when you do what we did today, we turn it round. Obviously, we get in all that bloody traffic, and then you get into Luton itself. And you know what I said about the schools and it. You know, I'm sorry, but, you know, I just see it as Luton is a shell. It's like a third world country now, a third world, it's like a caliphate. Sorry, but that's just the way I see it. And I don't care if I upset people. Uh, you know, who gave you the right, or younger people the right, to tell us older people that we shouldn't say what we say because it hurts their feelings? Bugger off. So, I mean, that's just a little rant, but anyway. So, yeah. So, when you have experiences like that with, you know, lots of people in Asda, all the meat is halal. Right, and I have an issue with that as well. That, you know, I, we don't seem to have a choice anymore with that. So, and I know it sounds a bit dodgy what I'm saying, but I don't care. Um, it's so overcrowded, okay? I don't think I could survive in a situation like that or in a town like that and um, without getting myself into some sort of trouble. So there's the yin and yang. So 
little things I lost from moving to the boat from suburbia. I mean, it's, it's far outweighed by the things that I've gained. Let me tell you, I've gained a lot more happiness. I'm a lot more at peace myself. I love nature. I love being outdoors and things are better. But, you know, like everyone, we all have a little downer, don't we? But, I mean, at least in suburbia, we've got pint cans of hobgoblin gold. Anyway, that's about it for today. Perhaps. Bye. Lee. Yes. You know when we go to my mum's? Yes. And I've just told everyone, we always come back with something. Right? We do. You've, you've come back with something special today, haven't you? Because you're a bit special needs. <laughs> I am. Go on then, show them. Because you're a bus wanker. I am. <laughs> it's got my bus on it as well. The 159. Which goes from Marble what, Arch you... to... Um, well, where is that bus then? Stram Station. You said it's your bus. We could <laughs> live on there. Yeah. We could. No, I'd like an old route master, not, a, you... not a new forest route master. Okay. <laughs> so that'd be more modern read. inside though. Yeah, I like that. Hmm. Well, there's a bit of a reading for you this Indeed. evening. <laughs> <laughs> You're happy as a pig in shit, aren't you? Oh, no, they've got clippies. I bet they've got Gibson. They've got what? Clippies? Clippies. I bet clippies? they've got Gibson um, ticket Guitars? machines as well. No. Huh. Anyway, <laughs> bye. Anyway, bye. Lee, there's something else. What? Do you think I might get a haircut in this vlog? <laughs> it's not likely, is it? Let's be honest. The odds are not great. Let's put it this way, the bookers would probably win. <laughs> Something else is going to happen this weekend and we haven't told you about it. Well, we might be out there at the moment. It depends when we uh, release this vlog. We're probably back. We, we're back. Because we've got two vlogs already to do. We were going out on the boat, haven't we, Lee? Mm, yeah. we, we've been doing tests on uh, load tests today. I'm not going to tell you too much about it because it would bore you. But um, let's just say the batteries haven't even done anything. Everything's just worked. We've had more electric than we've made and all, you know. Well, you don't know, but who cares whether you know? Let's just put it this way. Hannah the Narrowboat is pretty self-sufficient at the moment. And today we put a bit more of a load on to see what happened. And everything seems fine. Bye. Lee, you're smiling, aren't you? Because I think I just burped. <laughs> That's not publishable, is it? But anyway, before we go sleepy night nights tonight, um, I forgot to say about when we went to Asda, we left Hector with my mum and he weren't too happy. Now, I apologise and sorry to mum as well, but apologise more to the people watching it. My mum's not trained in um, doing video the right way round. She does it vertically, which isn't a good look, is it? Sorry mum, but it's just not good. You can see now mum, if you're watching this, it don't look right, does it? If you turned your phone round. But anyway, the content is fabulous. Look at this stupid Hound. <laughs> it's really quite funny, isn't it? I'll tell you so mighty. Well, actually, that shows he's not very mighty, isn't it? If he's pussying out like that. Oh, where's mummy and daddy? He what went mental. Now nah, he went mental when we got back, let me tell you. He did. Anyway, see you tomorrow. Say bye, Lee. Bye, Lee. I'd watch if she was. Bye. Lee. Yes. Wouldn't it be peaceful without those cars in the background? Mm, yeah, it'd be lovely. It's funny because when we do this, I often silence them with my software. Oh, very good. Should we show people the difference? Yes, go on then. Turned it off now. bit better isn't it <laughs> it's a bit of a coincidence the traffic stopped yeah. as well <laughs> it's, it's back again now that was a two stroke that, well. that needed a bit more choking it would have started by Happy Saturdays everyone. What a glorious day. It's going to be a proper hot sweaty titty day. So yes, yeah, so we've got to go up the allotment first thing this morning to water everything in the greenhouse because we are going to go away in Hannah for a few days, only two or three days. 
and uh, enjoy what's left of our summer, I guess. So yeah, a few things to do before we can set out. I think we we were going to have a nice quiet <laughs> cruise out, but I think we're meeting up with people, so we'll see what happens anyway. So see you in a minute. Bye. Are you choosing your hair, Lee? I'm just trying to get it under my hat. You've got always ultra hair, haven't <laughs> <Yeah>, you? <laughs> it's got wings. Wings. <laughs> of course, very bright. Anyway, we've got a little story to tell you. We forgot to tell them about me mum and wild camping. Oh yeah. When we was down at my mum's a couple of days ago, because didn't do any uh, filming yesterday. But um, yeah, I said to her about, you know, that I miss having friends and I fancied doing a bit of wild camping. And she kind of listened for a bit and she goes, you're not going to hold me there and get naked though, are you? I said, what? She says, wild camping, all naked. And I thought, mum, what on earth videos have you been watching if it's all naked camping? And she's been getting lots of dodgy emails, hasn't she? You know, man, oh, no, she has, no yes. wonder she's getting emails about um, penis enlargement and all that sort naked of stuff. Camping. I tell you, and all sorts of other stuff, aren't she? She was getting that and she's getting all the YouTube is beeping her all the time because of all the subscriptions that's on there. I tell you. Yeah, it's a quiet one to go and watch. So yeah, so my mum thought wild camping was nakedness. <laughs> Oh god, <laughs> oh god yeah oh i'm too old and fat and sweaty for that <laughs> bye right that's us done up the allotment everything's been watered and all that sort of stuff gonna go back and now start getting ready to go out on the boat so we are going to finish this particular vlog a little bit early so we can start a new one for um a little trip a little jaunt out so you know what comes next do you know what comes next lee <laughs> Thank you for watching. We love you all. And we'd like you to press our bell ends. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.